so my name is Megan. This is my first video here on YouTube. I've been thinking about starting videos for a while, but I've kind of been like on the fence, so I figure I'll make one and see how it goes from there. Okay, so today I am going to be doing a haul video, and these are things that I bought today and yesterday from Rite Aid, Target, Sephora, and Nordstrom's. It's I think it's largely high-end with like some drugstore mixed in, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm just kind of going to start pulling stuff out of my bag. I just put it all in the Sephora bag. And I'm just going to kind of pull stuff out and we'll talk about it as it comes. Okay, so first I got this. This is the No Bleeding Lips lip liner from, I think it's called No Cosmetics is the brand. I found this, I always have a problem at Sephora. You know the little like sample things on when you're waiting in line? Like that's where they get me. I spend like half of my money every trip there. And so I got this there and I asked the um, lady at the counter like if she had heard anything about this brand and she said that she personally hadn't tried it but she heard that it was good. And it's just, it's basically it's a clear lip liner that's supposed to prevent feathering. And I've never really struggled with feathering, but I'm starting to get into more dark lipsticks, so I wanted one just in case, because feathering and smudging is like not cute. So I got that. Um, and then I finally caved and I bought a beauty blender. I've been avoiding this for a long time because I have um, like the Sigma... I forget what it's called, but it's like the Sigma Kabuki brush. It's like kind of pointed, and I use that to blend out my under eye concealer. Or if I'm looking for like a more natural and doing whatever, then I'll just use my fingers. So I was always like, I don't need a beauty blender. And I've tried dupes from different places, and I've been like, oh no, they've got to be just as good. And so I finally broke down and bought it because my under eye area, my skin used to be very dry. And it's no longer that dry, but my under eye area is still, it still gets dry very easily. And especially I'm in love with Max Pro Longwear Concealer and it's my lifesaver because I also have bags under my eyes. And, but the thing is, is it does tend to be slightly drying. Um, so I have to use, I'm like, I've, you'll have to see later, I'm on the hunt for an eye cream. So I'm trying to find that, and then I'm trying to, like, I spray my concealer brush with Fix, with fix Plus before I go on, because I'm trying to get as much moisture under there as possible, because the creasing and the dryness is just not what I want. So finally broke down and bought a beauty blender, hoping that that'll help. Um, the next thing I got, I honestly couldn't believe it when I saw it. it this is the new Bite Beauty holiday gift set. And it is their high pigment pencils, high pigment lip pencil. Um, there's four of them, and one of the regular size high pigment pencils. I have one, but not with me right now. Like one of the full size ones is twenty four dollars, and this that has four mini ones, which are like a little more than half the size, is twenty five dollars. I was looking at it and I was like, like forty five. Like I I I thought it was a mistake. But, so, no, it is actually $25, which is so exciting. And I'll swatch them for you. So, it comes in this cute little tin that has this mirror, which I think is awesome. I'm just going to throw it in my bag and keep it for, like, I don't know about, I don't know about you guys, but, like, times during the day when I'm going from one event room to another, say I'm going to school, to work, and then after work I'm going over to someone else's house. I like to change up my look a little bit, and largely I do that through my lips, so this is nice because I have four different lip colors to be able to change up my look. So the first one is called Rhubarb, and looks like that. It's this really pretty mauvey brown I don't know it's lovely it's not nude it's more brown it's it's neutral but it is definitely more brown than like a true nude which I personally prefer because I'm so pale like true true nudes like I look sick like I look so washed out it just doesn't work and then the next color is winterberry I think winterberry and Winterberry and the next one I'm going to show are the ones that are exclusive to this collection. They're their new winter ones. Um, and the other two are ones that they've already had. Rhubarb and 
Rhubarb and pomegranate are ones that they've already had, and winterberry and sable are new to this collection. So then this is winterberry, and it's this really pretty, like, festive raspberry red, and I'm in love. So the next color is pomegranate, and it is definitely more of a red. Like, it's, it's a rather true red. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the color, but it's a rather true red. And then the last one is the nude, and it's called sable. And that's it on the top. It's a pinkier nude. Well, I think, what's it, what was that called? Rhubarb is a more brown nude. Sable is a pinkier nude. So just depending on what you like. So that's that kit, and I was so excited to see it. So definitely a good buy, good for gifts, and good for gifting yourself. So, uh, oh, I also went to Lush, and I got their Mask of Magnanimity magnanimity that's what I'm gonna try and I am obsessed with Lush products I use Dark Angels every night and Aquamarina every morning and I just I they're so nice but the thing is I'm allergic to nuts so I struggle a little bit but the stuff that I get that I can't have I'm absolutely in love with so Mask of Man Magnanimity everyone pretty much knows what it is that smells so good. It's like minty and delicious and I'm really excited to try it out. I got home and I was like trying to like stop myself from taking off my makeup because I wanted to try the mask. And I wanted to try it with, I got a new face cleanser. And once again, at the little thing in the boxes and lined for to buy stuff, it, it got me. So this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser and I've heard a lot of good things about this. And I'm just on the hunt because I never really struggled with acne. And then I had some a little bit and then I stopped eating dairy and it got better. And then lately I've been kind of breaking out again and it's really frustrating me. So I'm trying to find a really good cleanser just to keep my skin feeling good. Okay, so next at Target I got Yes to Cucumbers, the Soothing Sensitive Skin Soothing Eye Gel. And it's supposed to depuff de tired eyes and soothe them and make them not really look so baggy and puffy. And I hope that works because I need a new eye cream because I don't know. I get Even if I get enough sleep, I just I have deep bags. I can thank my dad for that. Okay, and then these next two mascaras are mascaras that I own and I was running low. So I went and I got some, and I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, which is absolutely amazing. I'm wearing it today. It's the love of my life. And then I got the Voluminous Million Lashes from L'Oreal, and I feel like this one isn't as talked about as the Carbon Black, but I love this one. I think this one is actually very similar to, um, to Benefit's, uh, what's it called? They're Real. Just because the brush is that plastic, um, I don't know, I feel like they're very similar, but I like this one better, so, and it's a lot cheaper, which is great. Okay, next, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. Um, I use the Brow Wiz for my eyebrows, but I don't really have very pronounced or thick eyebrows, so I never really thought I needed the gel, and I kind of on an impulse buy, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get it. Like... I'm sure it can't hurt. Okay, and then I got this lip product from Revlon. It's the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And this is the shade Sultry. I'm in love with this. Um, I'm like the worst swatcher, sorry. And it's the one at the bottom. So it's in the same family as the one from Bite Beauty but it's matte and it's richer. I love it. And then from L'Oreal, I got Blushing Berry, their lipstick. It's a very true berry. It's basically a, like a non-matte, like a glossy version of the Revlon one. For when I do a dramatic eye, I really try and stick with the matte lips so it's not too much. So the other one's for when my eyes are more toned down and I can wear a more glossy lip. 
And then just I picked up one of the single eyeshadows from Wet n Wild. I've heard a lot of good things about them and I got it in Nutty because pretty much everything else was sold out. It was only 99 cents so I was like, I'll find a use for it. Okay. And then I got two lipsticks. So MAC has a new collection and it's matte lipsticks and I'm absolutely obsessed. I have this newfound love for matte lipsticks. So I went and I had to pick up two. And first I got Pander Me, which is this beautiful, it's like a warm terracotta brown. If you can see that right there, it's gorgeous. I'm just ugh, blown away. MAC lipsticks have been my favorite. And for a while I like was like staying away from MAC. I was like, no, they're too mainstream or they're too, they're too expensive. And then I realized I was shopping at Sephora, so it was pretty much the same price, whatever. And then this next one is called Fashion Revival, and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. And it's basically, it's a matte version of Rebel by MAC, which is one of their very popular lipsticks. So it's, I don't need to swatch it because it's on my lips. But it's beautiful. It's like a purpley, berry gorgeousness, and I'm in love. And then from MAC I picked up a Pro Longwear Pink Pot in Soft Ochre because I've been trying to use, um, I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion which I love, it keeps my eyeshadow on forever, but on days where I don't wear as much makeup I really would like more coverage so I don't have to put on as thick of eyeshadow because it's, my veins are already covered. So I picked up this for that and I do have a more yellow skin tone so Soft Ochre was perfect for me. And what else did I get? I got two little samples of eye creams and lotions and whatnot. So this one, I got a sample of Vanishing Cream from Lush. And I tried it on the store and it was amazing. I just have super sensitive skin, so I want to make sure it works. And then I got a sample of the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. And hopefully this works. And last but not least, with my points, I am a Sephora Beauty Insider, and I'm a VIB member, I guess. And with my points, I bought a tiny version of Flower Bomb, that perfume that everyone's freaking out about, and it's just so cute! But it's it smells absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited to have that and I like kind of hope I don't like it that much so I don't feel the need to go buy a big bottle because they're crazy expensive. Um, so that's it. So thank you for watching my video and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and let me know so I kind of know if anyone cares or if I should make more videos. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time.